It's exactly 25 minutes past the hour of eight and you're just in time for the obvious segment where we have real life conversations. And this morning, the conversation on our views is going to be quite colorful. Well, my name is Shivan and joining me this morning on the panel on my left is none other than Sarah Apollo. Hi, Sarah. Welcome back. We missed you yesterday. Aww, stop. <laughs> don't do that. Thank don't, you. Don't I'm do back. that again. Thank you. Yeah? I'm glad to be back. The next time you don't come, drinks will be on you. You break our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> and then to my right, I have Agi Uwase. Thank you, ladies, for joining me this morning. Mm -hmm. And today we are going to be looking at social media etiquette. Mm -hmm. But now, I know very many times we have heard the saying of you're supposed to be kind, you need to be courteous, you know, you say thank you, you say good morning. But how many times or did you know that there is a form of etiquette that you're supposed to use on social media that is actually called netiquette? Well, I will define this for you. And it says, what is social social media netiquette. Now, just like etiquette, it is a customary code of polite behavior in society. Netiquette is a code aimed to maintain manners on the internet. The netiquette definition covers all facets of the online world, including email, messengers, social media, multiplayer gaming, and other types of online communication. It could also be defined as netiquette is a network is a network etiquette of the do's and don'ts of online communication. Now, netiquette covers both common courtesy online and the informal rules of the road of cyberspace. And actually, what sparked off this conversation is yesterday a friend of mine posted on her Twitter platform, on Twitter and Instagram, and she said that she had lost her auntie. So what happened is, because I did not read the post, I went ahead to like, and after liking, I sent a message, I, I, I responded under, under that picture, and I said, I cannot wait to meet her. So she went in my inbox and she told me, Shivan, what the hell are you doing? And I said, what have I done? You said you cannot wait to meet my auntie. And I said, yes, I loved your pictures. There were six pictures, I liked them, and I can't wait to meet her. And she said, no, my auntie is dead. That is when it hit me that sometimes, actually among the rules or among the codes of social media netiquette is that some people like and comment on posts before reading. So the question is this morning, ladies, have you been found guilty of lack of social media netiquette? Tell us the truth. Today is the day of truth. Mm -hmm. um, I just have one example. It was actually rather embarrassing. It's a <laughs> <laughs> like like your example of not reading the mm -hmm. post. So, this is the first time ever I ever saw Mo Salah, right? <laughs> so my friend, my fr a friend of mine on social media is such a huge fan of, of Mo Salah. And my friend is also um, Egyptian. You, you get, he's from Egypt, and that's where Mo Salah is from. So he posts a picture of Mo Salah. At the time, Mo Salah was really doing well in the season. He was like uh, like man of the match, and he had like the most goals during that season, you know, when he just came on the scene. So he posts a picture, and then he says, my brother from another mother, because they're both from Egypt. So I said, tell your brother, I said, hi. And I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> so my friend responds, and then he's like, <laughs> what's wrong? So I go back, I look again at the picture. Then I'm like, but this... <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Hold up. So I Google the picture and it is more Salah and he's like, I was so embarrassed. I mm -hmm. went back and I just deleted my 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 comment <laughs> and I was like, I am sorry, it is a case of mistaken identity. Forgive me. Yours but wasn't yes. as bad as mine. My goodness, it was terrible. No, but it's very embarrassing if you're doing that on a post that is having over a hundred, you know, comments coming from football fans. Now you look like this <laughs> airhead. And you're now feeding into the stereotype that people have about women and not knowing anything about soccer. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, Sarah. But this was way before now that, now I'm very involved. <laughs> now I'm very involved in sports, you understand? Now I know what I'm talking about. I know who the players are. <laughs> But then it was so embarrassing. Okay, so how about you, Agi? Have you fallen victim of lack of social netiquette, social I'm, media netiquette? I am laughing for one reason. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to to think or to say that I'm calling myself holier than thou. Is that is that what it is? But I don't. I haven't. I haven't fallen victim for that because, um, my social media presence is actually very limited. Well, probably the only social media netiquette that I have is stalking. Yes. That is, I don't know if it's if it's it's. Yes, it <laughs> is. It is. Talk. 
Do you stalk us? No, 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 no. no. Not you. Come on. We're but there are particular we're people. We're not I hope, I hope they're not watching. Okay. I hope they're not watching. But you know there's those particular people that you do not follow on social media, but you always are You're intrigued. Just curious. You're always curious. You always want to know what they are about. Maybe they are into fashion. They're always dressed well. Or maybe... They're the life of the party and you just want to see what goes on in their life. So mm-hmm. that is the only thing that I probably do. But uh, uh, otherwise from that, I don't think so. Sorry, you know that TikTok trend? I don't know if you've seen mm-hmm. it where uh, a lady says, my friend slay, look good, wear that makeup, wear that lipstick. Yes. The haters are watching. <laughs> so I am the hater. <laughs> so anyway... Some of the types of actually of lack of social media and etiquette, and for me, I have fallen victim already. I've already told you my personal story. Secondly is, there are people that steal other people's profile pictures and post them without permission. Mm. That is actually very bad social media and etiquette. Catfish. There are people, no, not necessarily, mm. because let's say, say I've posted a picture of myself, you steal it as a man, and then you post it on your status, and people will think maybe oh, I sent yeah. it to you. How about you ask me, for my picture then there are people who actually <laughs> go ahead and decide to you know these random memes we post on our status or you write something out and someone takes a screenshot the way it is and post it on their status without giving credit that is lack of social media and etiquette Those how about you give credit very much by the way <laughs> i think i think there's a better way to do that if you have stolen uh, someone's meme or maybe a picture and you actually do not want them you don't want to give them that uh uh, what is what did you what was that credit you don't credit. want to give them the credit it's better you actually block them from seeing your status it's or, better you yeah it's or, better because oh you could just watermark all your memes that's you know, interesting you, you put your watermark there so whenever they share your social media so whether they, they they ask you for permission or not your watermark is there or your hashtag is going to be there in the picture and people will know that you are the originator of this content mm-hmm. but those are the people that actually upset me the most when you are just benefiting from my hard work you can't even laugh you're not even laughing in my <laughs> inbox or the next thing i know is that you've already shared it like ask or say oh this is funny can that. i post this or oh, please send me this <laughs> You do understand what I mean? I, mm. Those people just are the worst. But also another type of people that I feel are a little bit insensitive, like when you talked about mm, people who don't read the story or read the caption or understand what is actually going on. You know with uh, Facebook, there are those uh, different uh, emoji mm-hmm. reactions. Mm-hmm. So many times you find that somebody sharing a very you know sad, sad story, whatever the case may be, and then there's that one person who has laughed at the post now those are the people who i look for i will sit through all the thousands of responses to look for this person and tell them like you know what stop being insensitive what is wrong with you what is funny about this somebody's posting about say for instance they're feeling suicidal and then somebody is has laughed has responded with a laughing reaction like no you could have literally just skipped through this if you did not want to, but you right here, you doing that is actually making, validating that person's awful feelings about themselves. That is absolutely true. So don't true. do that. But I have a question though, and this actually I came across it while I was watching a video and trying to compose the, the, the content for today's morning show. And a lady was asking if someone posted, say something on, she mentioned on Instagram, for example, because Instagram doesn't have very many, very many, um, buttons that you can actually click on yes. there is a like button and then I, I think it's just a like button so if if someone posted a sad story and i decided to put that love heart it could go two ways either that i'm just being a toxic person or i'm just giving you a sign that oh i have seen this and i'm standing with you in the situation so the question would be is it still wrong to go ahead and like a sad story on social media isn't it a way of actually telling the person i've seen this post and i'm standing with you in prayer and i see you rather than you not commenting on it at all i think to like or to use a reaction emoji is basically um just taking note do you understand? I've liked it. I have seen it. That is it. I think people go ahead to further uh, be more um, involved with your post when they comment. 
-hmm. But many times it's just a like. And many times or uh, the like is usually just people, okay, I have seen this. I'm going to show support to mm -hmm. increase your, your likes yes. <laughs> and you know, interaction on this post. Yeah. So I think it's just a confirmation. Uh, noted, I have seen. Mm -hmm. But whenever you, f the people who are involved in or who, you know, have taken it to heart or have actually read other people who comment, Yes. Yeah. Okay. And on, honestly, just to supplement on what Sarah said, I honestly feel like if it's a sad post, except that if, if you haven't read through, you know, to ascertain exactly what it's about, but if it's a sad post, don't like it. Maybe you can actually, you can comment, say sorry for your loss if say probably someone has lost uh, uh, somebody, or you can share it to your status and then, you know, add on those your own particular caption but liking it is more of i'm celebrating the sad thing that is happening in your life i've always thought that you know whenever i'm going through social media and i'm seeing those sad posts and i'm seeing i don't know over a million likes i'm like what what are you thinking mm -hmm. like this is not something to like okay yeah. so another form of lack of social media netiquette that i think that is very important for us to talk about is people that blue tick messages <laughs> on WhatsApp. This is actually a lack of social media etiquette. Angie, why are you laughing? Why are you <laughs> I find that Absolutely. actually very rude. There's, there's a time, there's this one time I sent a message out. <laughs> it was very funny. So I sent messages out and they were blue ticked. This is what I would think. If you're not, even if you're busy, do not open the message. If you know you're not going to respond to it at that time, I would prefer that you do not open the message completely. However, ladies, I would like to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think that this is still a form of lack of social media netiquette when, you, when someone sends you a message and you blue tick them intentionally? Then there are others who block. Do you know that blocking is also a lack of social media netiquette? No, I don't think it is. <laughs> Why? Because you're a culprit? You see, this is the thing about social media netiquette or etiquette is mm -hmm. a set of guidelines that social media companies ask the individuals or their their platform users to follow and preserve their online reputation now this is the thing the social media etiquette or rather netiquette is not about the social media platform it's about you so it is for you so when somebody goes on to blue tick you people have a right to ignore mm -hmm. your message mm -hmm. but I that is lack no, of social no, media no, no, yeah. I, don't, it is not I, true. I don't have to talk to you so be courteous enough and say that I do not want to talk to you. Block me, move on, delete my you number. About no, um, this is a thing. Mm -hmm. This is a thing, Shivan. This is a thing, Shivan. All you can do as an individual is send the message and the person will respond. What if they're in an emergency situation? So at the what, moment, you have the time what to open if, the no, message? No, no. What if they're in an emergency situation? What if they're in a moment where they are using their phone or doing research or in an exam or are on air right now and they accidentally tap on your message? They will get to you. This is the thing about communication. People are not going to give you a response at your time mm -hmm. because the other person, the recipient, also has their own time. Mm -hmm. And there are things that we follow, and that is our list of priorities. So if you're asking me something very irrelevant, like <laughs> I don't know, um, <laughs> what day is it? What I'm going to stop what I'm doing to, 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 respond? to respond to that? Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. There are times where it could be a state of emergency, but even still, you can only do so much to control when the person responds to you. They will respond to you when they are available. So I do not think that is a case of uh, not having etiquette or not having netiquette. They will respond when they do. And if it is an emergency, how about you follow up with a phone call? Hmm? If it is yeah. like a, a, it's, it is a, the world is on fire right now, I need you to respond right now. Why don't you follow up with a phone call? For me, I, I have the notion that if it's important, mm. you're going to call me. Do you understand? Yeah. Because with, with, with social media, especially say WhatsApp, you have a bunch of messages coming in and many times, eight out of ten times, it is just a lot of just you know, spam. You just have people just spamming your inbox with all this nonsense. You understand? Mm, mm. If you send me a message and you're responding to a meme and you're like, ha, 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 what, I'm supposed to... You laugh back. And then again, you I, I'm like supposed to respond to hey, people. Hey, hey, hey. No. People are actually entitled. <laughs> no, At no. the end of the day, whether we, we, we are friends, whether we are family, it doesn't matter. You are not entitled to... Uh, to a message back. Yeah, I think you can yes, just reciprocation, change. reciprocation is it optional. Is and it, and you shouldn't expect that. No? At the end of the day, or maybe 
I could actually be busy all through the day and I never, I don't see your message at all. And you will imagine that. How about you actually double text? Maybe I saw the message and then got you busy. You blue me and then I double text yes, you? Yes, there's people who Watch actually forget to, to respond mm -hmm. to a message. This so is for me, I feel like you that saying is why it's an etiquette. You it, that is a sense of entitlement. You the are not entitled the to The mere anything. fact that you have highlighted that you forgot. You see, this is the thing. We have time for everything in the world. Like you have time to go out with a friend. You, but there are some messages that you will never have time for. Like the excuse and will it's be okay. is that I never had it's time. Really I okay. forget. I forgot how Shivan, Shivan, first uh, hold on. Mm -hmm. Put a pin in that. Did you know that some of the don'ts of social media and etiquette and etiquette is do not be needy. Mm -hmm. Do you not that? feel mm -hmm. entitled. Uh -huh. Do not be a spammer. <laughs> eh? You people who just be sending wahala, wahala. We have things to do. I do not have time to be checking your responses to my memes or saying, oh, nice picture. Long time. No, I don't have to respond to there that. It's that. very irrelevant. We're there building you are spamming my. You are spamming my inbox with, with nonsense, rather, mm -hmm. with garbage. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to put everything on hold to respond and say, oh, thank you. I look nice. Yeah, I do look nice. Yes. So and I don't again, have to respond to that. And then that. again, it happens. You know, there's people who actually do not talk to you in a long time. And then this one time, you post a very beautiful picture of yourself. And that is when they get to your inbox saying, hey, how are you? You expect me to respond to you? Yes, you I haven't been you talking to me in a while. Will you die? What is the worst that could happen <laughs> to you? Don't have anyway. time. Anyway. But the question is, what is the worst that could happen to you if you took time off your busy schedule to respond? We also have things to do. It is our data. It is our airtime that we are using to call you. We call you. You do not call back. We text you. You do did not you do not respond we send out email that is a bad social media netiquette anyway oh, before, you the ladies, be before the ladies eat me up sarah why are you shooting us? you could not <laughs> you could also not be a priority also, and that is also, also it's very fine. important yeah, to find out if, if you are a priority in someone's life yes. however let's look at some of the fundamental netiquette rules and these as follows the first one is rule one remember the human now for this one remember to treat others the way you want to be treated introduce yourself courteously use emotions sparingly try not to hurt other people's feelings or cause offense also avoid use of capital letters by the way people who text on whatsapp using capital letters it is it, it's it's not good social media etiquette it comes off as being rude it comes off as self importance it, it i could i could i could i could Dissect it any way I want. The rule number two is behave ethically and responsibly. I think that is very important. Think before hitting the send button. I like to think of it this way. I like to think of social media this way. And Sarah has actually highlighted it a couple of times on the show that the internet never forgets. This is a message. Yes, WhatsApp nowadays and different social media platforms have the availability of when you send a message, you can delete it. But remember, this message, once it's gone and the person sees it, you can never undo it. So while you're hitting the send button, be careful that this is actually a message that you want to put out there. The third is familiarize yourself with technology and environment. It's very important. Respect others people tie other people's uh, respect other other people's time and bandwidth. Present yourself positively, share your knowledge and expertise, keep flame walls under control, be forgiving of other people's mistakes. So ladies, how best can we practice some good social media etiquette? This is the thing about social media is our, our personal social media is a, represented, a representation of, of ourselves. who we are mm -hmm. and how we feel, especially our emotions. So um, when you say things like uh, when you post something, make sure it is something that you want people to see. But you see, we're emotional beings and sometimes you may be reacting to something, you know, uh, in the heat of the moment. You could be very upset. I, I would like to take an example, especially for our stories that, uh, that expire, say, on uh, uh, Twitter also has it now, uh, um, Instagram, Facebook, and also WhatsApp, where you have the status updates that expire after 24 hours. Now, there you get to know somebody like like one-on-one -on -one. because people are posting from emotions they're like mm, had this for lunch <laughs> or i hate when people do this ah, now that person is really upset in that moment so i think that even when we put out messages out there and we you're, you're carefully thinking like is this something that i want to see i think as recipients or people who follow this person on social media i think we need to be a lot more understanding and not be too judgmental because 
like I said, our stories, especially that expire after 24 hours, are a representation of how we're feeling. You're tweeting in real time, you're posting in real time, and you're, you're saying how you feel because you probably don't have somebody to vent to right away, mm -hmm. but then you want to let people know. It's just a feeling like, this is upsetting me right now, or I am happy because of this, and then you later switch. <laughs> especially my stories mm -hmm. are just a hot mess. You can't keep up one minute I am fine. The next minute, I'm no longer that person I was two minutes ago. So you keep on deleting and keep on updating. But in regard to social media etiquette and etiquette, I think just uh, one thing that I could tell someone is just uh, do. it's okay to express yourself, but don't do it in a way that you're going to be belittling other people who don't mm -hmm. think like you or, you know, uh, being an extremist where you're now dismissive of what everybody says. I think we just need to employ a culture where we can learn to agree to disagree, but most importantly, understand the other person's position. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very important. So, okay, as we wind up the conversation, uh, let's look at some of the rules of good social media netiquette. Please, ladies and gentlemen, this is very important. By the way, this is a skill. People do not know that these things exist. The first one is make sure identif identification is clear in all communications. Review what you have wrote and try to interpret it objectively. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes uh, there is this saying, and I wanted to mention it at the end, but let me just say it. And this was said by Jenny Priest in 2004. She says, one person's clever joke is another person's offensive insult. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you might think you're being clever and cheeky, but in actual sense, you're actually insulting someone. So be very careful that the message that you're sending out there is actually interpreted correctly. The next one is, if you wouldn't say it face to face, don't say it online. Now, very many people hide under the masquerade of online. Angie, you're laughing. Are you a culprit? <laughs> mm, yes. Very many people hide under the aspect of online. They are able to... T I remember during lockdown, COVID-19, someone made a joke and they said, all the people that have been telling one another, I love you, I cannot wait to see you, lockdown has been lifted. And now no is the time to see people face you. to face. And everyone was just looking at themselves like, what? Okay, this people is a People didn't have money truth. after the lockdown. <laughs> we were broke, we couldn't. There was no transport, okay? Okay, so our next one is don't assume everyone understands where you're coming from. The next is return messages promptly. But in nice capital shivai. letters <laughs> to Aki Uwase and Sarah Apollo, please return messages promptly. Do not advocate for otherwise. When we are free. Stop being entitled. <laughs> the next when one when is, we are free, we will re I'll get back to you. Or when it's worthy. Okay. Yeah. So, so the I'm next one is understand that your sense of humor isn't universal. Your sense of humor, not everyone actually finds it as humorous as you find it. So you might be dying in your own movie. Then do not be reactive. Avoid oversharing. This is very important. There mm -hmm. are people who share every single thing that happens in their life. But I do not think there is a problem with that. But anywho, well, according to this, this is a rule of good social media and etiquette. Then build a legacy for the future and do not misrepresent yourself. This is something that actually Sarah did highlight on. And she said that social media actually is a portrayal of who you are. Well, that wraps up the conversation that I had for you this morning on our views. However, earlier on, on Monday, actually yesterday, when Aggie and I were deliberating on the Twitter jobs, we did inform you and let you know uh, that the body of the late right honorable Speaker of Parliament, of the 11th Parliament, that is uh, Jacob Bolanya, who passed away on the 20th of March 2022. Well, his body will be brought to Parliament and CTV Uganda will be covering those events live. And actually, what you see right there is footage that is coming in from CTV crew as to what's happening at a Parliament of Uganda. And of course, at the end of the day, we hope and wish him a safe journey as he goes uh, to be with the Lord. From the dust we came and dust we shall return, members of Parliament and the session shall be led by the Right Honorable and Annette Anita Among, that is the Speaker of Parliament, will be presiding over as MPs, uh, as members of Parliament, give their last respects and also like i said this particular event will be streaming live on ctv and also tomorrow the events will be streaming live on ctv as the body of the late speak of parliament is uh, transported to the kololo independence grounds where his excellency the fountain of power yorika guta museveni will be the chief mourner and the chief the guest of honor will be the right uh, archbishop that is uh, kazimba mogalu well we do have more updates coming in but otherwise that was i had for you this morning
morning on sunrise at sea. Don't blink. Well, that's all we had for you today on Sunrise at Sea right here on CTV. From the ladies and I, have a great day. Don't forget to follow SOPs and also don't forget to be kind. And also have your social media etiquette. Please keep it at the back of your mind to be courteous of other people's feelings and be respectful. Do not be disrespectful because don't be a bully, okay? Don't be a bully. It's not a good thing. Well, until tomorrow, same time from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., keep watching CTV.